In today's video, we're going to really have some fun pairing up our gas generators with our solar. The eFerdins and the EcoFlows together, they make a great team. And if you haven't thought about that, sometimes we're not going to have the power of our solar panels uh, if we don't have the sunlight. And having the gas backups for your backup is a great, great option to have. These things are going to uh, pair so well together, you're going to always have um, your energy when you need it because and i want to show y'all how you can save on your gas today on your uh your generators with your ecoflow delta three the delta two or even uh the the river three it it is a great combination y'all i've been studying these things so much i've been learning because i did not know a whole lot about the solar power banks ecoflow is a big name they're one of the top brand names in the uh, solar power stations they have all different sizes uh, this is an 1800 watt brand new uh, as of yesterday we was able to start showing them uh, the delta uh, 3 classic you get 1800 watts running you get a 2600 watt uh like a surge and then you get a 3600 watt peak on x boost on the app you control this one with the app and this one as well with your uh, your energy management uh with the ecoflow app they're outstanding i love these things uh be amazed at how much these things can run um, I'll, both of them the delta 2 is uh i don't know i like the delta 2 a lot i think you'll like it as well uh the delta 2 has more plugins on it than this new delta 3 uh classic does you get three 170 uh i mean you get three 120 volt plugs on the front and you get three of your charging ports, one USB-A and two USB-Cs. Uh, you can, both of them will charge with AC, which we're gonna talk about, and your solar panels. Both of them will take uh, 500 watt panels uh, of solar in the back. One kilowatt hour batteries in each one of these. Uh, 1,024 watt hours of running time. Uh, takes about uh, completely about an hour on AC to charge these up that's why it's great to have your gas generators with this so whenever we're running something like we're gonna run this uh, 8000 BTU Calsar uh, portable air condition say we're running it for hurricane season and we're out of power the hurricane hits us and we're wanting to run the air condition or the refrigerators and freezers uh, off of one of our power banks inside but it's still cloudy out and we're not making as much on our solar to uh, charge it up quick enough that's where your generator comes in so whenever you have the affordance whether it's the 2500 2500 has to rev up a little more you'll kind of see that the 4000 is excellent for this for your uh, helping your home back up so whenever we run the portable air conditions yes i have an air condition outside right now uh, for y'all but we're going to plug this thing in and i'm going to show you how any one of these they will take a charge and you can uh like you can you can charge them up the same time as they're running so whenever they're running right now we've got a hundred if the fans on on this so we've got uh 117 watts going out and when the uh, compressor kicks on we'll have uh whatever the wattage of the air condition once the compressor kicks on usually about uh eight to nine hundred watts on this one or let's say six to eight hundred give or take when the compressor's running and but the whole point being is your time of your runtime is different so right now it's saying we have eight hours of runtime with the fan running not the compressor now when the compressor kicks on it's going to drop that runtime down to about one hour but if the air conditions inside uh, i'm going to turn it off i want it to reset itself i want it i want the compressor to kick on so we're going to make sure that it totally resets itself up Oh, uh, give it just a minute. I just had it on before I came live or before I started recording the video. Let's get this thing on. We're going to go on. We're going to turn it to low so it doesn't kick the breaker. And now we're going to make sure we kick that compressor in so we get some cold air. And you'll know when the compressor kicks in, that wattage is going to go up. When that compressor turns on, now we're at 609, 626, 642, 677. So we got about 680 watts roughly with the compressor running on this. Now, your runtime is down. We're at 99% on the battery. Runtime's down to one hour. So let's say we run it all the way down until that time's five minutes. We got five minutes left of battery on the air condition and we want to start charging it because you can charge this back up in a, around an hour with your AC. So now you're going to take whichever generator that you have. This is the cord, uh, the parallel cords for the 2500s. And we're going to take the power cord from here, from right here. This is your power cord that goes to the back 
of the uh, of the unit and we're going to start the 4000. We're going to crank the 4000 up and we're going to connect it here and then you're going to see it'll be taken. Now we're at 733 watts. So we're going to start up. And we're going to so now we've got the air condition running with the compressor on and we've also got the uh, generator charging the, uh, the power bank. It does work better if you turn whatever device on, unplug it, and then start charging the power bank first and then plug your device back in. Now your time is going to change because it's gonna, only going to take one hour to charge it back up. Only one hour. You're going to be back at 100% from 5%. So let's say you're inside. Let's turn off the, uh, the generator. Let's say, you see how it kicks every time you turn off something, it kind of turns that breaker off on your power bank. So we're just going to unplug. Let's say now that we ran our air condition for uh, one hour. We ran it for, where if you have it in a room where you're going to have, uh, the compressor is going to kick on and off. So the compressor kicks on and off. Uh, your run time is going to not just be one hour. And when it goes back down to 117 watts, the timer is going to go back up. To about three so let's take an take just a, an average and kind of go to two so you get two hour run time off of one full battery now you charge for one hour and you plug your air condition back in while it's charging and you're up to three hours running on the air condition and another hour uh after that or another three or another two hours after you charge if that makes sense you turn the generator off once it's charged and you get another two hours so now you're at about five hours of runtime on one hour of gas so that's going to save you right there on gas just to charge up your power bank so they work really really good together uh if you've never thought about doing that plus if you have uh if you have your solar panels going then that's even more power that you're going to be uh creating for the battery pack i think it's the perfect combination if you want to give them a try uh if you've been looking at getting uh, one of the EcoFlows or some kind of solar power station. Uh, the EcoFlows are a very good option that you're going to be able to get right here from this video, uh, reviewing everything. If you've seen my eFerdin videos, you know how I feel about the eFerdin generators. Some of the best costing, the best price, the best durability, uh, best warranties out there on the market right now. And EcoFlow is a leader. I'll even see if I can link the little portable air condition. That's an 8000 BTU Calsar uh, AC. I, if I can link it, I will. Uh, the Delta 2. The River 3 is 600 watts. These two are the same. This is going to be your more portable uh, that I was actually charging uh, with this one earlier. So this thing is super lightweight. Uh, you're going to be able to run your fans and lights and stuff like that. Nothing real big with this one, but it is a great uh, portable option to take camping. Uh, and to have, even in your house, just to, just to charge phones and uh, maybe run a fan or something on you. If you're out of power, put it right by the bed, a little, little fan, and, and stay a little bit cooler so you can get some rest. Uh, I think it's the perfect way to mesh your gas-powered and oil, your gas and oil, with your clean solar. It is a great, great way to do it. It saves on how much gas you're going to run, and these things are super quiet. There are three decibels. Just the fans are about three decibels of keeping the batteries cool. They have the uh, PO4 Life, or I think it's PO4 Life batteries. You get a five-year warranty on the solar stuff. 3,000 times you can charge this back up. 4,000 on the Delta II. You get a five-year, that five-year warranty, you get a 10-year lifespan. Uh, it is a win-win all the way around. Very affordable, very efficient way to keep those refrigerators and freezers running. Keep those lights on, keep some fans on, keep some portable air conditions on. Uh, so I hope during the next storm, the next hurricane, tornadoes, really just bad weather, rolling blackouts, or whatever it might be that your power's off uh, for days or possibly even weeks, Lord forbid, uh, you can have yourself covered. That Having that peace of mind, knowing that you're going to be able to get some rest and a little bit of cooler weather during the summer, you're going to be able to save all your food. Average person is going to lose somewhere between three and five hundred dollars in food. I happen to think it's more like between five hundred and a thousand. So uh, the, each one of these things uh, very well would pay for themselves the very first time that you save all your food from the refrigerators and freezers. 
So I hope this review, I know it was short. I didn't get into a lot of it. If you have any more extra questions, uh, ask me down in the chat. Uh, I can get with you and maybe we can go over a few things. Uh, I'm really enjoying my review videos right here on YouTube and I hope that I'm doing a good job. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and uh, that bell notification so you'll get notified uh, whenever I go uh, come back on with any videos that I have. You'll get notified first. Uh, I'm Craig with the Bickums. I, I so hope you enjoy my review videos and I'll see you on the next one.